when the news came in, I, w I was just devastated. Um, you know, and uh, there's no easy way to sort of uh, to deal with any of that. Um, and so I was able to sort of find out what was going on and found out, the, you know, that the guys in the, in, in the band were okay. You know, they lost a, a crew member. But, uh, but it was eager for them to come back. And, and, you know, when they did, I obviously, you know, reached out to all of them and let them know that I was thinking about them. But, you know, the unique thing, and it's one of the things that we sort of discuss in the movie, is Joshua, who's the, you know, the co-founding member along with Jesse, he doesn't tour with the group very often because he has all of these other obligations mm -hmm. to other, uh, to, to, you know, to his other bands. And so um, I instantly knew that... Uh, this was a unique scenario because Joshua and Jesse are the closest friends. I mean, they've got this incredible relationship. And Joshua was in Los Angeles, and his best friend was in the center of a, you know, it, not only his best friend, but a bunch of his friends were just in the, 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 the center of a terrorist attack in Paris. And what struggle that must have been like for mm. him. So, you know, there were a lot of um, sort of, there was a lot of background that I was privy to being friends with the guys. Right. Um, that I felt, um, you know, would be maybe an interesting sort of way to sort of approach, uh, you know, this subject matter. Because I didn't want the documentary just to be about the attacks. Uh, I, I have no interest in rehashing well, that. Well, and also, I'm here with Colin Hanks, the documentary's about the band going back yeah. to Paris yeah. and all of the emotions as well. And, and the documentary just doesn't just follow the band. You found some... Some folks in Paris, some folks from France who were coming yeah, back because yeah. they wanted to be back at this concert as well because they survived the the attack yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole genesis of this really came about because the band was, uh, about a year ago, uh, this February, the band was going to return to Paris and play their, their, their first show back and, mm -hmm. and resume their European tour. And so we thought that that would be an interesting opportunity to sort of... Um, be there to sort of capture everyone sort of collectively moving on with their lives and, you know, trying to make something positive out right. of all that. And right. I felt it was important that we talk to some fans um, who were there, at, you know, there at the uh, at the Bataclan that, that, you know, were able to survive that mess, um, but who care about music, care about rock and roll and want to move on with their lives. And so we uh, were able to reach out to, a, you know, a handful of people that were incredibly brave, um, in speaking with us, they had not told their story to any other uh, outlet, any news source, or anything like that. What was a story that you can share with us right now, Colin? That that really just when you're because you did the interviews as well. Yeah, you flew to you flew to France, you flew to Paris. To yeah, do this, where you just were like, okay, this is this is really particularly moving. You know, I think um, there was so much about obviously you know, the, the attacks themselves that, that were sort of talked about almost ad nauseum in the weeks afterwards. And, you know, I was very adamant that, you know, being there for the return show and, and bringing, you know, a small crew with me, you know, with camera operators and boom operator and all that sort of stuff. I said, look, we are, we are visitors here and we want to be able to be witness to what is happening, but we don't want to stick out. And I think one of the things that I'm most proud of is that we were able to document the, as best as we could, but we also knew when to put the cameras away and not <laughs> uh, be filming. Um, and there was one particular evening, it was the evening that the band had landed. You know, when the band landed in, in Paris, the people at Charles de Gaulle said that we were the only film crew to be allowed on the tarmac since Lindbergh had landed. No kidding. Which was pretty surreal to sort of hear. And so we were there and we were witnessing, you know, everybody reaching out and, and really trying to make this band, you know, feel welcome. And uh, we were invited to a party that evening, which was just a, a handful of survivors that were just the survivors in the band just being together, just having wine, drinking, just just being together, just trying to get through it and to be invited to that and to put the cameras down and just be be, you know, be a part of that was really sort of one of the more special things. And that really is the thing that touches, I think, me the most is not necessarily the, the you know, the horrible stories, but really more, uh, you know, the, the good that's come from it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.